It's your boy, Shell Shocked Production. That's right. If you didn't watch last video on the Great War mod for Total War Napoleon, uh, we have done this before on the channel, but I thought I'd go back to get a bit more trench foot. Uh, if, if you don't know what trench foot is, uh, I highly recommend it. It's definitely a fun time. Just imagine your grandma's cottage cheese every weekend. She gives it to you. That's your foot. So, there is a specific reason I came back for something that I completely forgot to do last time I actually played this game, which uh, I did say I'd come back eventually, and I have decided that, you know, I've got something free to record this week I might as well come back and try this and yes I know I will go back to planet war as well on medieval but I'm saving that for something special who, do we, who did we play last time actually was it Spain did we do Spain I feel like it might have been Spain right uh, oh yeah it's, it's bike sniffer man do you remember that guy from the Kaiserreich days he sniffs bicycle seats so if you are new to this uh, specific mod it is essentially a mod that turns Napoleon total war into a world war one s game of course it can't be completely accurate to world war one because it is a total war game but it does try and that i've got to give it some credit for now i'm fairly certain we played like spain or something weird last time around we might do two nations today because i really wanted to do russia but at the same time they're they're really big like they're they're a bit obnoxiously big i, I don't know what you're doing there i mean i i do know specifically what you're doing there mr Tsar nicholas um unfortunately doesn't go too well for you, does it? Uh, but yeah, like I said, there is a specific reason I actually wanted to come back to this mod because I didn't test out one little bit of the game that I really wanted to, but I completely forgot because I spent like four or five hours playing the actual game and then uh, I never actually did it. But I, I came back, it's my one goal today, and I think we're going to do the Netherlands because I could do a big nation like the UK or France, but I kind of want to see what the Netherlands has got in them. <sighs> The Netherlands, World War One, something that you really wouldn't really say together because they they never really took part, did they? God damn it! That's right. They instead took up the uh, the famous tradition that many countries would actually take part in later on, um, specifically Switzerland, of just hiding from Germany and hoping they don't, for the love of God, remember your existence. Now that, that strategy didn't work out so well for the Netherlands in World War Two, but for World War One it worked successfully. And the da Daddy Kaiser over here just he just completely forgot we existed. Now though, the one thing I specifically wanted to test out that I never got around to, and I know God forbid I. I can't believe I didn't do it was tanks now there's a reason I didn't get around to it because it's, it's pretty late tech or medium tech really it's, it takes a lot of turns to get down here and adds a lot of research stuff to build it's probably easier as Britain or someone big but I'm gonna try to do it as the Netherlands uh, if I fail spectacularly I, I blame the Kaiser because he probably declared war on me honestly he did yeah, now, first things first, we actually need to rearm, or, or in the case of the Dutch, just arm. Uh, all we can build so far is militia, but we do have a garrison of just rifle infantry guys here, which don't have a picture, but they're, they're there. They're just doing the Dutch thing of hiding very well. Uh, and good for us as the Netherlands, we actually do start with a uh, educational building, so we can get to, uh, to, to researching some stuff, like, uh, you know... Some, some stuff that, you know, we're not going to question. Here we go. I, I'm doing the old Dutch thing of just, you know, trading with both sides. Hopefully, you know, hopefully uh, <coughs> the, the British or the Germans don't clock onto that, though, and they both declare war on me or, you know, the, the Belgians. You always, you've always got to watch out for this goddamn Belgian. Right, so the famous Dutch army is now being constructed. It's going to take us quite a while to actually build, unfortunately, because we only have the one province. And uh, the war in Europe is kicking off. Like, I haven't sort of seen any province changes so far, but, oh, wait, no, I have. What's going on down here? Serbia just took Croatia. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, it's happening. Oh, my God. Why does, why does my general look like a literal baked bean? Now... If we want to go ahead and become the technological, like, safe haven of Europe right now, we've got quite a few options to do that. We've got our gentlemen, which we can go ahead, and I'm pretty sure they won't like normal Total War Napoleon. We, if we find another university from a different place, we can go ahead and steal their technology. We can also use our agents to go into our own universities, and I do believe they'll give us a small research buff to that university, which is pretty good. But the one way that you should be getting research is by getting your army. Go ahead and start invading other neutral countries, which obviously is the superior way to do it. If, I, if I've ever got an opportunity to head over to, you know, Denmark and pillage it of its research goods, I'm obviously going to do it, especially if I'm wearing my 
cool little orange trench coat. It's what the Dutch would say. Come on. Oh, God. Look at the Danish horde on their way. What little they know of coming to them. Ah, that's right, baby. It's howitzer time. I was saying that. These de- oh, I was going to say they have an, an innate ability to dodge the uh, the cannons right now, but... I think they dodge it. How are you getting back up? How are you getting back up? Right. I don't know what they're feeding you in Denmark, but there is no way in hell you should be walking around after what just happened to you guys. Oh, yeah. I don't... I don't think the Danes got the, uh, the old... <laughs> The old message on how warfare might have changed. The, the men in the trenches are now engaging with their rifles. This guy up here does not give a damn. No cover needed for this guy because his balls are so goddamn big they absorb the bullets. My gosh. <laughs> the commanding officer here is just ready with a knife. You, you, you don't even care, do you? Although, to be fair, he could just be shell-shocked. Those are, those are the eyes of a dead man right there. Oh, no. He's got a pistol. He had a pistol in there hiding. So yeah, essentially how the combat works, it's just Napoleon, but with, you know, bolt action rifles, tanks, machine guns, all the fun stuff. So it's a lot faster and the, the, the battles really are over quite quickly, if you, um, if you can't tell. There you go, in that one little battle, they killed 317 of my guys and 3,210 of their guys. Um, that's kind of how the casualties went for people who just walked in a line towards big big guns. <sighs> and with that, the fall of Denmark has occurred and we got ourselves another research point, which is going to be great for our, you know, our, our endeavor to get tanks. So uh, I, I was looking at the public order bonuses right now, because obviously after conquering Copenhagen, they're not going to be very happy with me. But I did notice that one of the uh, little blips on here telling me what's wrong is uh, we have cultural differences for but why is it just a white square? What are you trying to say, Denmark? So, update on the war. The Austrians are going into Russia. And actually, that's quite surprising, isn't it? What the hell? How are they managing to do that? The Germans are in Belgium doing... Sight? Are they just doing some sightseeing? What are you doing, Germany? And the French haven't moved an inch. Uh, they are over here, though. Just sort of talking to this Belgian guy. Well, this German army, I'm assuming, is coming to try to kill them. Ooh, yeah, that's that's not a that's not a Belgian flag over Brussels anymore. <clears throat> so uh, obviously we're not going to stop at Denmark. We also need to make a uh, slight illegal incursion into Sweden too. Oh, <laughs> well they offered me peace already for 860. You know what? I'm going to take that just for the simple fact. I just realized that my leader looks like some sort of weird hipster. Uh, Norway, on the other hand, they're not getting off too lightly, mostly because their entire army appears to be... What? What's that supposed to even be? Is that supposed to be just a normal guy? I... I, I get it's supposed to be like armed citizenry, but... Is... What is that? Is that a Roman? <clears throat> no fear, Mr. Gustav the Fifth. I won't be getting uh, distracted by my... Ve uh, he's very hipster. Oh, no, I need to clear one. Let's just get so... <clears throat> War correspondence update from ISP. Uh, Paris has fallen. Belgium has refallen to the French. But the Germans... Uh, well, there's three men just sort of standing outside Brussels and I don't think they're too happy about it falling. Uh... I wasn't paying attention to what my, my research was doing, and I've just accidentally <laughs> researched communism. Oh, uh, there we go. Maybe, maybe we can trade our, our communism for a bit of uh, fascism off King George V. Will you accept that? No. He, he unfortunately wants to stick to his fascism. Of course you do, King George. I think the problem now, where the turns take about five hours <laughs> each time, I, I'm losing my goddamn mind. What are you doing, Germany? What are you... What are they doing? This... This is too long. Look how goddamn long this turn is. It's been hours! Oh... Oh lord, finally. Oh. Uh, uh... I... I... I think we're, um... We're moving past tanks now. I just realized in the turbulent times of when Belgium got invaded like five times, they actually have no allies right now, which, uh... <laughs> While, I, while I'm waiting for these tanks that are never going to appear, I might as well take advantage of that one. <clears throat> so, right. I decided to look it up. 
and I, I'm pretty sure the Netherlands does not get tanks. So, just to, just to act like we, we did in fact get tanks, I've decided to play the Belgians, who apparently do get tanks. Uh, they, they also get a rail gun, but um... That, that doesn't, that doesn't look like a rail gun. Hold on, can I, can I put it on the rail track? There you go. To be fair, if you told me that the Belgians had a rail gun, this is... This is kind of what I'd imagine, yeah. <laughs> right, so I, I have no idea how these tanks work, but if, I think if it was anything like their real-life counterparts, realistically, not that effective is what I'm expecting. Mm. Also, the tanks seem to have an unmistakable sound of hooves. Oh god, my tanks are shooting. What, what are you guys shooting at? There's, there's no... Oh. Oh. We just blew up this house, apparently. Uh, you just, you know, just hashtag Belgian war crimes, apparently. Right, so, uh, I thought I clicked on the Germans, but apparently, <laughs> apparently I clicked on the Greeks. So, we're just going up against Greek infantry. Uh, now, as janky as this mod is, I, I am 100% assuming that my tanks probably won't do that well against the infantry. But, you know what, we'll see, okay? I'm gonna send this bad boy in. Oh, there's two of them in there. Sorry, my bad. I didn't realize you were conjoined tank twins. Oh! Okay, we got our first tank in the battle, and I, I also... Uh, uh, I accidentally brought my general two whips. <laughs> okay, okay. My, my tanks over here are also shooting... Oh, no, not the railgun! People are shooting down the railgun! <gasps> no! That, that's the finest piece of Belgian technology. How is that thing moving, by the way? Oh, <laughs> oh God, no. The Greeks have stormed the little tank. I, I don't know if they're doing any... Da Oh, they're also just getting, getting taken down by my other tanks from across the uh, river bed there. Okay, uh, I think I think it was safe to say that these tanks are, are quite powerful. I just only wish I could have actually used them in the damn campaign because this seems like a lot of fun. I mean, uh, the tanks do seem to do quite well up until, you know, the Greeks get anywhere near them, to which they, they just start not functioning anymore. <laughs> just, uh, I'm assuming that the Greeks just you know, get a can opener and just get in there. <laughs> okay, something interesting I found that is once your tanks get blown up, the people inside don't actually die, and uh, I, I'm assuming it's the way they're modelled, but the people inside are also invisible, but you, you can still see that they're carrying knives, so... Uh, our tanks were indeed manned by a bunch of sentient knives that I'm assuming uh, apparently... Oh yeah, they're still in the fight, so... Yeah, there you go. There's a there's a literal knife fight. Oh my god, he just took that guy out with the throat! Right, so when Germany declared war on Belgium originally, that's what brought the UK into World War One, and we just want to see just how committed they are to starting World War 1.5. If I declare well, actually World War 1.5, it's a bit too generous for the Dutch. World War 1.5. One five. How about that? Oh, the the Belgians have gallantly uh, come out to actually fight me in the siege right now, which is unfortunate for them because I have uh, <laughs> I brought a couple memes with me. <clears throat> right, I'm gonna be real with you, uh, Netherlands. I don't think this is uh, I don't think this is how you use flamethrowers. Uh, I'm trying to realise the folly of my ways here. I think we probably should not have put the machine guns right behind each other. <laughs> Yeah, the Belgians aren't having a fun time right now. I don't think I'm even going to be able to use my flamethrowers, but we got to figure out a way somehow. Hey, do, do, I, do they just throw grenades? Please tell me they don't just throw grenades. Come on, you've got to actually have some flame in you, right? That, that, come on, let's do it. You, you have an attack. Please use those flamethrowers. Oh, right, here we go. We're going to flamethrower their machine guns. Come on, you can do it. Please, please actually have a flame attack. <gasps> oh, gee! Oh, come on, boys. You got, like, you got two guys slowly walking away with... Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, there you go. Uh, that, that, is, that is the war crimes I was looking for. Oh, well, unfortunately, considering there's only, like, six in a unit, they, they did die pretty quickly. But you know what? We got to use them, and that's all that matters. All right, there you go. Belgian subjugation underway. We only lost 99 guys, and funnily enough, the enemy only killed 59 of them. That's uh, a lot of friendly fire. Oh, I uh, I bought my little airplane, the little airplane that got over to France to see what was going on in Paris, and um, 
What's that red flag, France? Oh, uh, here we go. I've got, I've got to go ahead and build a, uh, a homeless shelter in Belgium after I, I blew up all their houses when I invaded. Right, so originally the plan was to invade Germany, but Germany and Austria have completely dominated all of Europe. So instead of that, what we're going to do is take, take the, uh, the real <clears throat> douchebag move and instead attack the UK because I'm not willing to uh, spend another five hours. Trying to win this. I mean, uh, well, we're so late game now. Just locking around Germany and just... <laughs> oh my god, it's pure cancer. Oh my bejesus. Please, for the love of god, tell me this is going to be a bridge battle. I think... I think this is the first bridge battle we've done on this goddamn channel. Where, uh, the, the enemy didn't even make it across the bridge. They always got blown up by my artillery. Well, and just like that, uh, if the game was actually had any sorts of like events or anything put in there that would be the end of the war as the dutch miraculously landed in london stood on a bridge as the english got blown apart by artillery and then just walked into london but uh unfortunately the game doesn't have any surrender events so the english will keep on the fight in Cardiff. Uh, yeah, we're gonna end it off here. Uh, this is another good look at the World War One mod for, uh, Napoleon Total War. Unfortunately, the game gets incredibly laggy. We'll just go ahead and end a turn so you guys can see what happens. Uh, the game gets incredibly laggy towards the end of the game and it takes forever to go through turns, which, um, it's not the best, it's not the worst, but I, I, it w I probably would have played a bit more if I could just spam through turns and get that tech through immediately and then find out that I can't build tanks anyway. But either way, if you enjoyed this mod, feel free to leave a like down below hit the sub button if you want to see some more stuff like this because my channel uploads crap all the goddamn time but until next time guys we're gonna go ahead we're gonna we're gonna leave it off here for today and just in case you're wondering there's a flash clock sale in london today